put that in there. Is that clean it? Yeah, it's got to take a bath. Okay, she's in there, and that water is uncomfortably hot. I had my tankless up to 160, so we're going to cover her up, insulate some of that heat, and let her soak. Still 110. Nice. Kind of hard to see it in there. I just grabbed this though. 12 bucks at the hardware store. And I'm thinking we'll mount her in here like so. And we'll keep that water nice and toasty warm. Think it'll work? Okay, I just got some flat bar welded here, a little cross, zip tied a piece of PVC on there. That's gonna sit just like so. But it's not touching anything, so cross your fingers, let's see what happens. Well, I think it's definitely burning that plastic. I don't know, what do you guys think? Looks like it's burning that, huh? Maybe put a little more hot water in there. I imagine we'll lose some tonight from evaporation. All right, I just pulled that out and there's no burn marks. I think it's just the oil coming off the water, honestly. That's all that I can all I can figure. So I'm guessing there's probably a few guys out there wondering why wouldn't you just pay the machine shop to hot tank it and uh, do this for you. Here's the thing, I called my local machine shop, they don't hot tank anymore, they do a jet wash. Apparently the jet wash doesn't really clean out coolant passages. So I'd be back here again at my place trying to clean out coolant passages and I would have paid for a jet wash that would have cleaned the outside of the block. I can do that, I can do that on my own. So that's kind of where I ended up. Okay, it's been about 45 minutes. Let's see what we got here. All right, that's not uncomfortably hot. Let's check the water temperature. 153 degrees. The tank side, the tank wall there is 140. Cool. I think we'll close it up. We'll put a couple of tarps over it to retain some of that heat and we'll check it in the morning. Well, I came out this morning. I came out this morning and I saw this thing is steaming like crazy, which is a good sign. But it has a very oily smell, like a burning oily smell, which tells me that we're getting a lot of oil out of the engine, I think is what it means. So let's unplug this thing, pop it open, and see what we got. I wanted to do a couple temperature readings on it first. So the tarp is 120 degrees, that's definitely warm. And I see there's a lot of water dripping off the inside of the tarps, which tells me that we got a lot of condensation on the inside. Let's see what we got. Whoa! That is hot. I'm gonna definitely got rid of a lot of the water in there. That water is almost 190. That block is 197. 195. That water right there. Wow! It melted that PVC.
Well, one thing's for sure, it's doing something because if you remember yesterday, we could see the engine block down inside of there. Today it is so dirty, you can't even see in there. And there's a nice oil slick on the top here. Rainbow on the water. Okay, water's topped off. She's plugged back in. We'll let her go for another few hours. All right, that's looking a little scuzzy there. But let's go ahead and get this cleaned up. I didn't really talk about the process here. What I did was I filled this tank up with hot water, mean green, and dish soap. And I let this thing hot soak overnight. I drained that out and then I replaced that with oil eater and dish soap. And I let that go again, hot soak again. All right, guys, we're back again. It's after hours. It's getting a little bit late. But I thought with the uh, last few minutes of daylight here, we'd get this sprayed down. Check it out. We rinsed it with a soapy water cycle. And look at all that flash rust. That is bad. But that also tells me that we have a really nicely degreased surface, which is what we were after. Let's hose this down one more time. We'll get rid of that surface rust there as much as we can. I've got a little bit of a, a brush there. And then we're going to hit it with some WD-40. Fun fact, the WD in WD-40 stands for water displacement. So that should hold off the rust temporarily, at least until the thing's back together. Fingers crossed. All right, and again, you can see the water steaming. That's 135 degree water coming out of my tankless. And that really helps cut the grease, cut the oil, cut the scuzz. So we did do, we what we did is we drained out the oil eater, we refilled with hot water and soap. And all that I was hoping to do with that soap was strip out the last few things out of the pores of this engine block. Then I hosed it really good with regular clean water. And that was coming out just barely opaque. The water was looking really good. And as you saw on a lot of these pistons, the carbon was just you know, just brushing off. It was coming off really nicely. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to heat this back up again. We're going to let it soak in some hot water here. And then I'm going to brush it with a soft bristle brush. And then we'll put the WD-40 on. You know, when I was researching this whole um, hot tank thing, I was not sure what chemical to use. So I, I researched that pretty heavily. And one thing that I kept coming across was guys asking, well, how do you prevent the flash rust? You know, WD-40 is the obvious choice here. Like I said, I don't have any experience with, with hot tanking engines. I have a lot of experience with rust. And right on the can of WD-40, it says, displaces moisture, protects against flash rust. It's cheap in bulk, and we're just going to be applying with one of the retired pressure pot guns here. Easy enough.
Got a brass brush here for getting in the the passages here. A little more aggressive than that soft bristle. Some of this some of this rust is still holding on here. I've got to be careful that Mrs. United States of Ville doesn't see me scrubbing with this brush. She'll imagine a toilet in place of this piston and that's a slippery slope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we ready for that guy? Let's get on it. So I'm gonna pre-spray this. I haven't scrubbed it yet but I'm kind of worried about the flash rust. This is a lot of surface area. I'm not really worried about the coolant passages, but I am pretty worried about the oil passages. So I'm gonna shoot this whole thing down, and then I'm gonna scrub it, and then I'm gonna hit it with some hot water, rinse it off, and then I'm gonna spray it the final time with WD-40. Oh man, you guys got all wet too. Lucky I don't spray you with WD-40. But anyway, there it is. Nice hot water rinse. And now I think we'll shoot her down with the gun. <laughs> 